Welcome back to the Spanless Gamer. Today we're playing four games for the Atari 2600. We're playing Springer. Uh, we are playing, uh, what else? Squeezebox, Snake, and Star Raiders. So our first game uh, came out in 1982 and it's called Springer. And it's got a terrifying, terrifying bunny on the front. That is frightening. A uh, giant headed bunny and we got, what, uh, kernels of corn and clouds back there, an angry sun, a bird. Some kind of dragon alligator thing. An egg? I don't know. Springer. Tiger Vision. Springer is a magical, friendly rabbit. With your help, he can jump from cloud to cloud trying to reach the sun. Yay! Be careful, though. The green dragons are guarding the treasure. Bonus points. Springer has a mighty kick. Use it to kill the dragons. Be clever and jump on a rising cloud to help carry you to the sun. Reaching the sun is not the end, but just the beginning of a new screen adventure. I'm pretty sure if you reach the sun, that's going to be the end. Uh, let's play Springer. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, game. Oh, I get to hear it again. Yay! Okay. We got a little bunny. He's got a little tail. You know who likes bunnies? This guy. He likes bunnies. Cooper, you like bunnies? Coop Cooper? Cooper? You like bunnies? Hey, you like bunnies? <laughs> he just wants to be left the F alone. Okay. Oh, God. I just... Oh, he broke his neck when he... F oh. Oh, that's horrible. Okay. Oh, God. That is... Painful. And so is this game. Okay, don't push down. Good note. Good note. Push down and your bunny will hang himself. Oh, we get to hear it all over again. Okay, you stupid bunny. What? Alright, I'm rewinding. What just happened? Okay, so the egg pushes me off. Oh boy. Come on. Mario, this is not. Oh no, stop it. <laughs> you deserve that, buddy. Okay, Springer graphics um, for the horrible rendition of a broken neck on a cute little bunny. I'm gonna give you a four, um, just because I can tell it's a bunny. He's got a little tail. Sound um, three music. Uh, it's actually got some background music. I don't hate it. Four and a half story. Um, really wasn't any, but uh, sure one. Controls, a one, funness, uh, half, does it hold my attention, a half, and overall Springer is going to get a one and a half. That was Springer for the Atari 2600. Let's move on to the next game. Okay, our next game today is Squeezebox. Uh, Squeezebox came out in 1982. I have a feeling this is going to be a breakout clone. I have no idea. U.S. Games, Squeezebox, pow, pow, great. Uh, Squeezebox is a single-player, full-color game designed to be played on the Atari video computer system or the Sierra, blah, blah, blah. There are six game variations to test your skill and judgment. Squeezebox is the ultimate escape game. Our pistol-packing jailbird has got to shoot that crazy knockout and escape route through the walls before they close in on them. The longer it takes, the faster they come, so aim carefully, but don't rush out too fast because the next room is worse and you're getting points for each block you shot, shoot out. Test your endurance, wait too long, and you might touch the wall. Three touches and it's all over. Get set for the hottest finish you have ever encountered in a video game. U.S. Games, a subsidiary of the Quaker Oats Company. Pretty interesting that Quaker Oats made video games. I have no fun facts. Here's the game. Okay. Oh, maybe I did it start or reset, whatever. No? Can I do anything? Oh, there we go. 
Oh, so he automatically shoots. So I don't have to hold the button down. This is just like that music game we played. How do I shoot? They're too low. Whoa. Okay, game. <clears throat> Am I moving on? Am I dying? I don't know. I succeeded that time? Oh, that's fun. Okay. Graphics. Uh, they're big. They're bright. I mean, the guy has five o'clock shadow and a striped shirt. I mean, that's, you know, that's, uh, those are some graphics. Sound. Um, uh, give it a two and a half. Music. Um, two and a half. Story. Uh, half. Controls. Um, bleh, four. They're okay. Funness. A two doesn't hold my attention. A one and a half and an overall squeeze box is going to get a two. Um, that's it. Let's move on to the next game. Okay, our next game today is called Snake. And it came out in 1982. And the box art just says Snake, a data age. Oh, good data age. Um, what's going on here? Got a snake shooting lasers out of his mouth. Uh-huh. At... Uh, a little guy. Or is the little guy... Oh, the little guy shooting lasers into the mouth of the snake. I see. Who's in some kind of uh, children's building toy structure. Data age. You are a daring big game hunter and has stumbled into the Amazon's legendary land that time forgot. That's the land that time forgot. Okay. In the Amazon. But the game being hunted is you! How long can you survive? Can you cut the deadly snakes down to size? You'll find your skill with the joystick controller tested to its limit. Watch out. Or you may get wrapped up in this one. Jungle Guidebook is enclosed. Cool. So, um... This game is uh, a 1991 digital press rated as uh, one of the 10 worst Atari 2600 games of all time. So I think we have good things in store for us. Let's play. Okay. Definitely doesn't win any points in the graphics department. What the hell is going on? What? Oh, right. And the game's over already? Okay. You so the controls, I move, I'm this little block in the middle that moves around in a square. So I can only move left and right at the top. And when I get to the sides, I can move up and down. It's really weird. So now I can move up and down. What are those blue blobby enemies? What is this game even? And then you die right away. This is awful. This really is one of the worst games, isn't it? One of those yellow things shooting all over the place that kill me instantly and then the game's over? Oh, God. Snake! Okay. Graphics. You're gonna... 0.25. Sound. 0.25. Eh, we'll give you a 0.5 there. Music. There is nothing. Story. Your Amazon, apparently. The Amazon looks like that. Yeah. So I think uh, story will give you a, a one half controls. Uh, negative one. Funness. Um, negative one. Does it hold my attention? Zero. And overall, Snake is going to get a score of absolute zero. <clears throat> Not the worst game we've played, but pretty darn bad. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, our next game today is Star Raiders for the Atari 2600. And it came out in 1982. And the box art just has a um, pretty cool Atari kind of watercolor. New Inside Volume 3, the Atari First Edition Action Packed Comic Book from DC. Star Raiders climb into the fabulous Starfighter and warp through the galaxy with Commander, Champion, and 
Lieutenant San Oroke. Help the Atari Force destroy the Krylon Menace, rescue the last vital starbase, and avenge the Doom Planet. Use a joystick controller and video touchpad. Yeah, I might not be able to play much of this game because it does use a weird controller. As you can see on the back of the box, it ha came with this weird like touchpad thing. Um, okay, so let's just get right into the game and see what we can play. Star Raiders, 1982. Yeah, so, you know, only so much I can do. I don't have a pad. I can shoot things. I get a little radar in the bottom right. There's some stuff on my radar, but... It, oh, oh. There we go. I do remember playing this as a kid. A friend of mine had it. I borrowed it a few times. And it was very complicated. Um, not in a bad way. Just kind of... Very technically complicated for an Atari game. Uh, you know, like sector maps, and you can go to different warp to different sectors and fight enemies, and you had to get like fuel and stuff. Yeah, but there's only so much you can do without the keypad. So let's uh, just rate it. So graphics, I mean graphics are pretty simple. The Starfield moving is pretty neat, um, but it's an earlier game. We'll just give it a four sound. Sound is sound is pretty okay. Four and a half. There is no music. Um, not really much of a story. We'll give it a one and a half. Controls. Um, I'd say there are five. Funness. Uh, if you have the proper controller and you actually do your research and know how to play it, three. It could be a little fun. Does it hold my attention? Mm, maybe about a three and a half. And overall, Star Raiders gets about a three and a half. Um, there are better space simulation games out there. And that's it. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next game.